Who's this clean cut brother at? Well, you probably recognize him better this way. It's the Bee Gees, hit machine of the 70s and 80s and still going strong today. With their long hair and sexy satin outfits, these guys gave a whole new meaning to the phrase night fever. But before the boys got caught up in the U.S. disco craze, they got some airtime on Australia's Cabbage Quiz in 1958. Come here, Barry Gibb and your, young, and your young brothers. Now, come on, who are you? Which is which? Your twins, eh? I'm mother. Robin? And Morris. And Morris. Now, you all seem together, eh? You got it, pal. These kids were barely out of kindergarten when they started polishing their act. Daddy Gibb was a musician himself, and he knew his boys had plenty of ambition. We all agreed when we were children that we were going to be a famous pop group, but before we ever became teenagers. There was never a doubt in our minds that that's where we were going. It took a lot of exposure to get there. He wears a dustman's hat. He wears top blimey trousers. Well, I'm an old man now, and I fought to win this race. Here they are complete with some handsome sweater vests and lots of hair tonic, singing the Battle of the Blue and Gray back in 1963. Dad was always at the back going like this. You know, smile, you know, and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, he taught us professionalism. One thing you can't teach is charisma. Barry had plenty of that, and his younger brothers sure looked up to him. So when the Bee Gees hit puberty, it was Barry who got to play the role of front man. Barry wowed the crowd with this rendition of Spicks and Specks back in 1966. The Bee Gees were definitely going places. Pretty soon, Big Brother would help the boys develop their signature sound. Nights on Broadway on the main course album is where the falsetto began. I found out that I could scream with melody. I could scream in tune. Somehow, Barry's voice survived puberty and 40 successful years in the biz. Come on, let's hear it, Barry. 